What's up, crew? This is Tony, a.k.a. Cultivated Mind. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Dub of the Week, and um, this week's kind of flying by the seat of my pants. I'm just, I'm just getting a regular jam out. I'm in the process of moving, so there'll be a bigger, better, crazier studio coming your way. Please keep an eye out for that. Uh, and today, I'm just going to go over a little bit of uh, melodica, which is an instrument I mentioned last week. It's big for reggae music. It's big for dub. We talked about Augustus Pablo, uh, so please check that out. And uh, I hope you enjoy the tune, and stick around afterwards for a breakdown, a music recommendation, and a little bit of a gear talk. Boom. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Studios, uh, pardon the mess. I am preparing for a move, and I uh, soon will be going to a brand new studio uh, with a, a nicer setup, brand new equipment, and all that kind of stuff. That's happening in the next month, uh, and so things have been crazy, and getting things out week by week has been tough. Um, so thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Uh, today's or this week's dub of the week uh, is just something a little bit different. Last week I talked about uh, the melodica, but I didn't bring one out and play one. So this week I wanted to bring out the melodica and play that uh, and show you some of that. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Um, for uh, uh, the gear talk for the day, um, what I used on the melodica was the flashback by TC Electronic uh, with a mash button that actually warps the end like a tape. Uh, you can hold your finger or your toe, whatever you're doing on there. Uh, it's pretty sweet. And uh, um, there's a, a couple different kinds of settings. And you can also upload your own uh, different delays from their site. Uh, so you can actually manipulate um, what's in what sounds come with this. Um, you have everything from dotted eighth notes to, uh, you know, uh, whatever you need um, to give the triplet effect on the end of your delays if you want to, too. Uh, there's everything from mod um, to a reverse. There's a looper in this thing, which is pretty sweet, uh, and I'll show it to you real quick. Uh, but this is the flash pack, and I use it uh, pretty much either on my vocals uh, or my delay for my melodica, and I'll use it a lot on keys as well. Uh, I think it's a brilliant pedal. Um, I think for getting something to sound truly analog, it's hard to find, uh, you know, a lot of digital stuff that really, you know, kicks butt, and this one does. You got stereo and mono uh, ins and outs. Um, just an awesome delay pedal. Like I said, that's what I'm using for today. And the Roland JDXI for the keys, uh, which is a combo synth um, that has analog bass tones. Holy crap, that's awesome. Uh, nice drum kits. Uh, everything is very compressed sounding, but if you're in a dance environment or you're in a reggae environment, uh, that big fat sound is what you're going for. So uh, that's the JDXI, and I'll have a picture and a link to that, as well as the flashback delay from TC Electronic. Uh, so you got to hear both of those in action today. Uh, I'm currently working on a new single called Chant As Many. That one will be out soon. I wanted to have it out this weekend, so I'm still working on that. But I didn't want to pe make people wait for, you know, the five people that watch this. Don't want to make you wait <laughs> for another one. And uh, so I, I got a quick one for today, uh, and I'll have the actual single coming out soon, too. Um, for your dub of the week, uh, I'm actually going to pick one that is, um, I think, a classic that everybody needs to hear. Uh, but maybe when you see the title, you'll go, I don't know. But it's uh, Scientist Rids, uh, the Curse of the e Rids the World of the Curse of the Evil Vampires. Um, it's kind of... Uh, I a regular dub album, but in the introductions, there's, you know, the curse of the mommy, 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 and all that kind of stuff that comes through, uh, you know, where they have a bunch of uh, horror references. Um, the Waterhouse, ba -bam, ba -da -da, that the Wayland Souls use for some call it water, firehouse, waterhouse rock. That's got an awesome dub on that. It's amazing. Um, I think I think that's one of the more heavier of the drum and bass without going into, like, whistle sounds and keyboard noises. I mean, it's just fat sounding the whole way through. Bam, boom, 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 boom. I forgot which track that was. I love that one. Uh, but that was one of the first ones I got from a buddy named Drew. Uh, he's a he's a wicked percussionist, a melodic player. So shout out to that dude. Uh, um, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, reggae music in general. Uh, the old dub stuff is the real dub stuff is heavily drum and bass. So um, that's one of those tunes where you can. It's not. There's not a lot of like. Uh, Heavy melodies. Everything is pretty fat and monstrous and sounds almost impending. So um, that scientist rids the world of the curse of the evil vampires. If I missed a word on that title, I apologize. I'll have a link to that as well. That's something for you to check out for the week. Once again, I apologize for the very short dub of the week. I know a lot of people are like, hey, man, there's a single coming out this weekend, right? Yeah, and that's technically not a dub. So I wanted to go through and try some new things. Once again, the Roland JDXI. I think this is a you know, wicked piece of machinery, um, uh, the, you have everything that you could possibly need, plus you can load up extra patches, um, the cool sticker that I have is not included, sorry, you gotta get that yourself, um, but yeah, the envelopes, the filter, uh, if I'm playing bass or doing something, I, I think the filter is, like, ungodly warm, um, you can cut off, like, half of, you know, half of your highs and mids, and it's just straight sub, and <laughs> And I love it. So, uh, yeah, the Roland JDXI, I will say, I haven't been doing criticisms of a lot of stuff. And honestly, a lot of the things I use, um, you know, I got to give criticisms to be fair to. So, like the Hot Ones pedal or Hot Tone pedal, great pedal, but, you know, it clicks and pops like a lot of cheap pedals do. So, uh, the Roland JDXI, Flashback doesn't do that. Flashback by TC Electronic, banging workhorse. I beat it up. I still use it. It's awesome. Roland JDXI, I love this keyboard. I love this synth. 
but the keys are really springy. They're not like weighted weighted. So like when you press down, it feels like it's flying your hand back off. Uh, it's meant for synth things. It is not meant for you to play piano opuses. Uh, if you want that, you got to go check something else in Rolo, Roland's Juno or something else that's a bigger, wider keyboard uh, with actual weighted keys. But this, um, if you're trying to play synth bass lines and stuff, this is the money. If anything, you don't want your finger to linger too much on, I'm rhyming fiend, uh, linger too much on each of these notes. You want them to kind of articulate. So uh, the keys cater to that. I don't like how spongy and weak the feels key, uh, keys feel. And I know that's kind of something I shouldn't be digging on because I use this since one of my favorite keyboards. Uh, if they could make the keyboard itself a little tougher. Like most Roland Boss stuff, the actual chassis, the, the body and frame of this thing is tough as nails. I have dropped it. You'll see some paint chips. It has seen better days, and it still keeps pumping, pushing, and making bass sounds. The keys themselves, I've broken like twice in a year, year, two-year period. So you take that how you want to. I'm also really rough on keys. Um... The cool thing was is they seemed really easy to replace. I took them to a music shop and they did it for like 40 bucks. So, um, and I've only had to do it twice in like a year, two years, something like that. So was it as tough as some of my other stuff? Yes and no. I've literally spilled things, dropped it, done the worst you could do to the actual keyboard unit. Uh, and it's still pumping and I just used it for the last two double weeks. But the, uh, the keys itself... Um, I guess it could maybe be a little more reinforced or maybe there's uh, plastic pieces in there and uh, and that's what's making things kind of break from time to time. Like I said, I'm kind of an elephant, so nah, I might have just been heavy with them. Uh, that's my only criticism of the Roland JDXI. I love the 626 sample kit. That's what I was using for this one. It's got that nice skank, bang, skank drum sound. Um, Tim Bali, if you're a Latin dude. Uh, and I, I really, I think the house organ sounds super cheesy because it's way bright, but that's the whole point of the filter and the cutoff and resonance in your filter. You pull a little bit off that cutoff immediately, you have a very warm, almost Hammond kind of sounding organ. Um, so for people who don't like the tones, I think you're missing the point of the synthesizer is that you can make anything you want out of this sucker. And even if you don't like the original tone that comes with it, flick of a wrist, you can get it to sound just the way you want to. Uh, so, and I love, like I said, uh, kind of like the warm the warm organs, um, but I like bright pianos and like this, I can do that with this. I can make my drums fat, I can make things, uh, it has built-in effects and filters and reverb and delay. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that goes with this, oscillators. Uh, you get all sorts of classic uh, um, synth leads like your saws and things like that. Um, and I forgot all of them, so I'm not gonna sit here and act and sound dumber than I already am. It's already bad enough. Uh, but yeah, there's brass, the brass is the brass. Learn to play a horn. I'm working on it myself. Nothing's going to sound like a horn except for a horn. But yeah, yeah, that's the Roland JDXI. I think it's a crazy, impressive synth. I think everyone who's been putting out mini synths has been putting out good stuff. Micro Corgan things, they've all been doing a mini Nova. Those are great. Nothing has fat bass, wicked drum kits, and allows you this amount of freedom over your tone uh, than this particular synth. So if you get friendly with it, and it honestly has a very low learning curve, you can figure it out pretty quick. This, and I'm, I'm barely unleashing 5% of its capabilities. Um, but I think it's one of those keyboards that you just need to kind of check out, see if you like it yourself. It literally contains everything. If you're a loop show or a one-man band kind of thing, this and a guitar or this and whatever, sax, whatever your other instrument is, this will do it. And uh, so, yeah, definitely check that out. Um, it's once, once again, the Roland JDXI. I will have uh, a link to that down there. I will have a link to TC Electronics Flashback Pedal, which, by the way, if you don't know what that is, Get into pedals, because this is like almost like a standard. And uh, TC Electronic has let me down on some of their lower models. But anytime you spend like $100 or more with TC Electronic, it's worth it and stuff comes out great. So pay that little extra for their nicer models and you'll be like, I, I got you. This is this is dope. Cool. So I love this one. You can upload stuff. I don't even use the looper. I love it for the mash button. The fact that I can warp the, the end of my delay if the feedback's going hot. I can warp it and, uh, with just holding my foot on it. Wild. Uh, so once again, please check that out. Um, those are the two gear talks for today. Uh, I don't really have like a name for the song, so we're just going to call it, I don't know, uh, uh, Melodica Dub. Um, and once again, it's uh, for your, your homework from old Mr. Brand here. Uh, it's for you to go out and check out um, Scientist Rids the World. Uh, rids the... Oh my goodness, that is a mouthful. Rids the World of the Evil Curse of the Vampires. That sounds like I got it right. Let me look it up. Scientist rids the world yeah thank you rids the world of the evil curse of the vampires and once again 
True Boyd, I know you out there, bro. Thank you for turning me on to that album. It was a killer album, and I, I still have it in my car. And even though I don't have CDs and I listen to things on my phone, I like make sure no one messes with that CD. That's a good CD. Keep it. It's awesome. So uh, check that out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's. I know it was kind of a quick thing, um, but I also didn't want to leave everyone hanging since it's been a couple days. Uh, and I'm buying myself a little bit more time to work on a single and a new music video, which is about to be released. So stay tuned for that. Shout out to everybody. I hope you're doing great. Thanks again for tuning in to Dub of the Week. And like I said, next uh, couple weeks, you might see me in a brand new studio with brand new gear and uh, GoPros going and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, keep an eye out. Things are getting bigger and better. And uh, that's kind of the point is I want to be able to give you guys something that's worthwhile to watch um, that isn't going to be on a cell phone camera consistently. Um, and that is enjoyable, not just for, you know, the music, but for the quality as well. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you again. Please stay safe, and I'll see you next time for Double the Week. Big up yourself. Much love.